Hey guys, thank you for checking out our video. My name's Sean Elders and this is Pinnacle Combat Arts. Like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell so you can be notified every time we get a new video. Today we're gonna to be talking about single knife disarms out of Sombrata. Let's get started. Single knife disarms. We'll start off, we're gonna do standard grip, okay? Con the basic concept I'm gonna have you guys do is uh, you're just gonna be developing what we call timing, line familiarization, and putting those things together inside of Sombrata, Contra Sombrata. Okay, so right here we go. Um, so basic Contra Sombrata, standard grip, sock sock grip. Give me the number one. And we're just doing the basics here, okay? Five count basics, so slow it down just a little bit so they can, they can see. Boom, boom, okay? So when I'm coming here, we're gonna do we're gonna go just off that number. Uh, uh, it, when I thrust here, she gives me that two. I'm gonna go right to this position. Is it gonna be realistic in all situations? No, it's not. Okay. Um, <clears throat> usually you need to you need to hurt them a little bit before you can get a disarm. <laughs> you need to do a little something something and give them a distraction before you can go into the disarm. But what we're doing is the purpose of this is to develop the keen concept of feeling where to go and you know you're going to get it and sometimes you'll get it and sometimes you won't but it's it's nice because you're going to develop it out of the sombrata and be able to have the timing and stuff and you'll get to the point where you'll get so good they won't even know it's coming and you'll you'll be able to do it but it takes time to develop that okay so when we're doing this we're going one two three when she does that two you're just going to slide this hand up i call this the snake <laughs> you want to do like a snake hand here so it's a flat thing to use and then you're going to pull and push at the same time you're going to do the shot okay and i like to just do like a little cut to the bicep turn it out okay we'll just grab to the tricep here and then with we'll this pull it in like that or something like that you can do whatever kind of follow-up you want but that's what we're gonna we're gonna do something like that so it's gonna go one two three yep and then when i when i come here i lost at that time so after the thrust you want to think about the, the thrust when she gives me that two you just get ready for this see that and I come here and I pull and push at the same time. So we're going here, boom. And I come straight in like that and I just cut that bicep, okay? And come bring my hand onto the outside, okay? Then she's gonna do it. We'll do it nice and slow, okay? So when I come here, when she does that thrust, she's gonna really think about, do the thrust, yep. And so when I come here, boom, she does the number one disarm, shoots it. And as she shoots it, she brings the blade into me. She cuts that bicep and goes to the outside. And yep, she brought me into the end like that, into an arm, chicken wing. She does a knee or whatever she wants and gives me a couple cuts and, <laughs> and that's it. Thank you. So it's here. Okay. And so right here, boom. She does the, grabs the hand, thrusts, boom. Right to the body, does a cut. Yep. And then she can do whatever one she wants to do from there, whatever follow-up she feels like doing, okay? Yep. And so I come here, boom, just like that. See, I went right to the throat, okay? I cut that bicep, and I like to bring my hand on the outside sector just in case she throws that cross, and then I could come in and do a counter to that cross. Just like that. Okay, she goes here, she does it, bam. Yep, she cuts, does whatever one she wants to do. Yep, good. Okay, so from that number one, you can also do it off of the number four, which is kind of like a more of a five disarm, but so when she when we go here, when she does this, I can go straight into this position. Now from this angle, it's a little bit better. Okay, when I come here, oh, I'm sorry, do it again, I missed it. So we go here. Boom, I flip this hand and sometimes you're not gonna get it, it's okay. But you're gonna put, same thing, I, like, I always call this the snake hand from, cause I did a uh, Shaolin when I was a kid. So you go here like this, and you take the flat part of the blade and you push and pull, go right to the stomach. And I like to cut and bring the hand always to the outside. That's, that's a real good concept because I wanna feel if she's gonna throw an attack while I'm trying to do my own attack. That's off the number four, now well, she's gonna do it. Yeah, that's all right. So here, boom, she does it. And you take your time, you make sure you take your time. She does whatever one she wants to do, boom. Yep. 
but she did it what they call Dumog one. Now notice my footwork. I'm making sure that, that I do my footwork properly. Oh, it's all right. So right here, boom. And then I come to this position just like that and I shoot it, cut the bicep. See that? I can do some kicks in there if I want. I could do whatever I'd like to do. You know, whatever you're, you feel comfortable with. She's gonna go. Boom, bam, just like that. Cuts out, pulls, yep, gives me a couple knives, uh, holes in my body and uh, go from there. So go ahead and practice that, work on it. I'll see you guys next time. Go to our website, pinnaclecombatarts.com. There you can find out more about what I do and the classes that I provide. Thank you guys so much for your support and have a great day.